Today on Rappler. President Marcos says deployment bans can be overreactions as Kuwait stops the issuance of visas for Filipinos. The mother of a murdered Pegagarao student seeks justice for her daughter. A teacher is killed as gun violence erupts again in Piquit, Cotabato. The door of an Aishana plane was thrown open during a flight, causing breathing issues with passengers. Two children in Cavite die after being struck by lightning. Michael Jordan's Olympic jersey fetches over $3 million at an auction. And Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling sparkle in the new Barbie trailer. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. isn't keen on the total deployment ban of overseas Filipino workers to Kuwait. This follows Kuwait's decision to halt the issuance of new visas for Filipinos. While the ban does not affect those with Kuwait residency status, over 800 Filipinos who are set to work in Kuwait find themselves displaced. Migration officials think Kuwait may have made the move to apply diplomatic pressure on the Philippines to lift the suspension on domestic workers following the brutal murder of Julie Biranara. Kuwaiti officials claim the Philippines is not compliant with the bilateral labor agreement, which Marcos says is untrue. Discussions between Kuwait and the Philippines continue. The mother of a murdered college student in Tugagarao City takes to social media to express her grief and call for justice. The 21-year-old victim, Jasmine Grace Casali, was found dead on Tuesday, May 23, at a vacant lot in Anafunan East, a village next to Barangay Atulaya Norte. The victim's mother, Riza, writes on Facebook, quote, The person who did this to you is a beast. Such cruelty. It feels like I don't want to live anymore. Tugagarao City Mayor Myla Ting says the crime comes as a shock. Ting says investigators find that Kasali was strangled and theorizes the string on the victim's vape was used to kill her. Ting adds the city is offering a 50,000 peso reward for anyone with useful information that could help solve the murder case. Unidentified gunmen bring violence again to Piquet Town in Cotabato, killing a teacher and injuring another on Friday, May 26. Authorities identify the slain victim as 36-year-old Joel Reformado, the head teacher of the Malasak Elementary School. His fellow teacher, 37-year-old Elton John Lapinid, was rushed to a government hospital for surgery due to a bullet wound. The gun attack occurred around 11.30 a.m. in front of Manaulanan Elementary School. The victims were riding a motorcycle when two armed men suddenly opened fire. A series of gun attacks took place in Piquet Town in February, where school children were among the victims. South Korean police launched an investigation after Ashiana Airlines said a passenger opened the door on a flight before it landed safely in Daegu City. An Ashiana spokesperson says the plane was two or three minutes from landing when a male passenger sitting next to an emergency door pulled the lever. The door opened about 656 feet above the ground. A Daegu Fire Department official says no one was hurt, but nine people were transferred to a nearby hospital after suffering breathing issues. Eight of those taken to the hospital were school children from Jeju. Everyone on board had their seatbelts fastened because the plane was about to land. Two minors die in General Tria City in Cavite on Thursday afternoon, May 25, after being struck by lightning in separate locations. The first incident was in Barangay Pasong, Kamachile. Ten-year-old Zian Agripa Prangan died while the two other victims had been sent home after treatment. The second incident was in Barangay Santiago. Police Lieutenant Colonel Jose Naparato Jr. says a still unidentified 16-year-old male died while another person was affected. Parts of the Philippines experienced severe thunderstorms on Thursday. Basketball star Michael Jordan's 1992 Summer Olympic jersey sells at $3.03 million at an auction on Thursday, May 25. The U.S. basketball team, nicknamed the Dream Team, brought together some of the best players of all time, including Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson, when NBA players were first allowed to compete at the Olympics. The jersey, which Jordan wore in the semifinal round against Lithuania, was part of an auction featuring signed jerseys from all 12 members of the team. 
Another jersey worn by Jordan was sold at an auction in September for over $10 million. It set the record as the most expensive piece of game-worn sports memorabilia in history. Get ready for the ultimate adventure. Warner Brothers releases the main trailer for the upcoming Barbie film, offering a glimpse into Barbie's world of wonder and excitement. Directed by Greta Gerwig, the film features an all-star cast led by Margot Robbie as Barbie and Ryan Gosling as Ken. The new trailer introduces audiences to a vibrant and enchanting world where Barbie and Ken embark on a thrilling adventure beyond the boundaries of Barbie Land. Barbie is set to hit Philippine cinemas on July 19. And that's today's wrap. I'm Julian Sirineo. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Ravelers YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.